Hey winners, what's going on? This is Matt Moore here with another video for you guys. Today we're gonna to talk about why you go through your struggles and how to utilize those struggles to help someone else. So I am headed out to go see my son at his tumbling class. It is monsoon season here in hot ass Arizona. So it is slightly cloudy, but it is still hot and humid, which sucks. Um, but when we do get those amazing monsoon rains, my God, I just, I just love them so much. So I know that a lot of you guys that follow me and you guys go through some serious junk in life, right? I mean, it's just part of the human condition is going through shit. Um, it's going to happen, and for some people, you guys go through some very harrowing experiences. I mean, just stuff that you would never wish on anybody. And, you know, everyone, not to devalue anything that you're going through, but guys, there's people out there that go through, like, life and death situations on a daily basis. There's people that are, are physically hurt and sexually abused on a daily basis and just count your blessings right you know like i i've gone through some some stuff in regards to my son in regards to um you know custody battle with his mom and whatnot but that's nothing in compared to what other people have to go through right i mean um when I had a therapist, she would even say, she's like, I'm amazed at how well you're handling all this shit that's happening in your life. It's like, well, number one, I can't control it, so there's no point in, in complaining about it. Number two, there's someone else out there right now that's going through something that's way worse than what I'm going through. So I'm not gonna complain about my situation because there's someone out there that has it way worse. So I should be thankful that my situation isn't as bad, you know? I've had someone um, sitting in a large auditorium full of thousands of people. He said, if we took everyone's problems and put it in a hat and you had to take whatever problem you pulled out of the hat, someone else's problem that, you know, you pulled their problem out of the hat. Now that was your problem you had to deal with. You'd probably, you know, rush over to that hat and try to pull your own problem back out. Right? So the second thing I want to mention, and I'm making this a quick video because my phone normally shuts down when I'm driving in the hot Arizona sun. But just know guys that a lot of times when you go through stuff, it puts you in a position to help someone else that's going through something similar, right? If you've been abused, it's inevitable that you're gonna come across someone else that's been abused and you can you can touch them and you can talk to them and you can reach them in ways that other people can't because you've already gone through what they're going through currently, right? Like if I meet another single dad that's going through junk, it's like, listen, bro, I've been in your shoes. It's gonna be all right. You're just going through a season. Like I can coach and mentor him and, re and, and help him through his struggle because I've already gone through it. So I know a lot of times we look at our, our situation and say, why is this happening to me? Like you have no idea how many people you can touch. And I don't ever want to devalue whatever you've gone through ever, but understand that you can now use that experience to hopefully help someone else that's going through something that's in a similar you know, situation. Um, and so that's really what I just want to, you know, reach out because if you, if every person that went through something just reached out and helped five other people going through something similar, what an amazing world we'd be in, right? Paying it forward, helping, you know, helping pay it forward. So just know that I love you guys all very much and I wish you guys nothing but love and success and joy and happiness in every aspect of your life. And enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, love you guys.